the pad type of session. Okay, so it starts off with tremolo, which is a thumb, ring, index, middle, is uh, 16th notes, and it's going to do a series of arpeggios. So I'm going to play it very slow. mistake. They made the same mistake on beat three of measure four. Because I made the same mistake twice, I'm actually going to back up again before even metronoming. Made the same mistake twice. Is it really a mistake? There's something wrong. Mistake. Let's keep going. All right, no mistakes. That's good. That's good. Metronomy with mistakes doesn't make any sense. You got to get the mistakes up. I mean, you can still metronome with mistakes, but you probably have to keep slowing down. So I'm going to start off really slow. Our goal is one. Our goal on the sheet is 120. The goal in my head is like 132. Don't know if we're going to make it. Let's see what 80 sounds like. Can you guys hear the ticking of the metronome? I can't actually see you over there. All right, so now what are my 16th sound like? So right now, I'm lining up my thumb on the clicks. Notice I'm not even using notes. I'm muting the guitar. That lets me hear just my right hand and let me know if my right hand is rhythmically accurate. If the right hand isn't accurate, it's going to be less accurate when I add the left hand. So, division of labor. Anyways, let's see if we can do 80. Feel great, but I think we made it. 84. So what? We're going 5% faster? Lost my shit. Oh, also, I stopped before I played the wrong note. Since you're teaching your hands habits, when I can feel it going off the rails, I just stop. Because if I let my hands play wrong, if I know I'm about to play something wrong and then I actually play something wrong, I'm going to have to undo that bad mechanics. So instead I just stopped. I was about to fall off. Probably in the next three notes I was about to get fall off. So I just stopped. Let's try again at 84. I'll maybe give 84 two tries. If I can't get it at 84 in two tries, I'm going to go back to 80. Even though I already got 80 right, i got to go back to what's correct and then go forward. Second try, motherfucker. All right, 88. My hands are still cold, but who cares?
Okay, first try on two of those. All right, 96. At some point, my hand's gonna be too cold. My right, it's my right hand's gonna be too cold. Oh, it's not very even. This fucking wire off me. But I hit the notes late. I hit two notes late. That's close enough, though. I mean, out of eight notes, eight measures, hold on, seven times four. What's seven times four? 32? Is that right? That doesn't seem right. No, 28. 28 plus 30, 31. Out of 31 notes, I hit two late. Ah, it's not really enough. I wouldn't go back in. Two out of, I mean, the ratio is not bad. 112. Now we'll see if I made a mistake. We'll see if the fucking 112 works. Fuck you. I'm playing it differently. What did I just do wrong? See? Shit happens. Start off with the wrong finger. Get this goddamn wire away from me! Suck a dick. 116. We're closing on that 120. One twenty. That's the metronome marking on the piece of music. My 16th notes are not even, by the way. That's probably me being out of shape and being intoxicated. But even though they're not even, they're not clearly even, I think we could still probably do it at 120. I'm still keeping, what I'm really anchoring myself to is my thumb. If my thumb stays on time, that means whatever time I lost in these three digits, I still get back on time with my thumb. So, 
It's like error correction or something. As long as my thumb stays on time, the overall tempo of the piece won't be fucked up. All right, let's fucking go. And that's the fucking speed of the piece. My personal, I think 132 is where I need to be. So 126. If I nail this one, the next one is the uh, my personal comfortability, where I think I prefer this, the piece at that speed. 126. missed I tell you exactly what I missed I missed on beat three of measure three I made the same mistake both times when I was reaching for the uh, D string I missed and hit the fifth string I it should have been the fourth string I hit the fifth now this is a come to Jesus moment how many more chances will I give myself at this speed before I back down to 120 I don't want to go back to 120. I don't want to play to get at 120 and then go to 126 and then go to 132. So I would like to get it right. So you actually know what? No metronome. Slow it back down. No metronome. Right there. this shit. Come on, dog. I wish it's a little faster than I thought. Ooh, hold on, my thumb's missing it. Let's fucking go for it. No, it wasn't the cleanest shit on earth, but that's okay, because when you get to the end, when you get to the top range of your speed, you're going to sacrifice some clarity. But it was mostly there. So we're going to 132. So you start talking to yourself and give yourself rewards. It's like, dude, if I get this on the first try, I'm done. If I get this on the first try, it's fucking done. I don't have to fix anything. I don't care. I don't care. If it's 5% off, that's fine. But if it's close, I don't have to go back. I don't have to go backwards on the metronome and then work my way back up and we can save some minutes if I can just fucking get it. <laughs> Measure four, you got me. Hold on, metronome. Hold on, I gotta think about this shit. That's where this little fits. This 
this fast. <laughs> One string. <laughs> Motherfucker, I'll take it. I'll take it. One thirty two, if you can't see it on the dash. One thirty two on the dash. One twenty in the music. Where is it at? Y'all see that shit? You can't see it. It's like too bright. You can't see it. It says one twenty two. Oh 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 oh. One one twenty right there. Man, get the fuck out of here, bro. How long did that take? Sixteen minutes. So I, it took me sixteen minutes to work eight measures of music. That's getting realistic. Get realistic. 16 minutes for eight measures of music that I already knew how to play, but I was out of shape on. If you didn't know how to play those measures, that shit would have been much longer. So it's like, you got to get used to small increments. Two measures, two brand new measures a day, two measures of music that you don't know how to play. If you can get your mouth, your mouth, well, I guess if you're singing, or a horn or something. If you can get your brain wrapped around just two new measures a day, those are not new for me, right? Those are old measures. Those I'm working them back up. But if you can learn two new measures a day, you will blow away. You'll just like crush. You will crush. There's so much music in a year. But people are like two measures. That's like five seconds of music. They want to bite off bigger amounts because it's more exciting. It's more emotionally fulfilling to bite off bigger amounts. But your ass can't do bigger amounts, dog. You can't do it. Try it. Go ahead. I mean, you can pull it off. Get famous and rich real quick. But you're just not going to do it. Yo-Yo Ma. Yo-Yo Ma learned the cello suites two measures a day. His dad made him do it. His dad told him, if, if I'm getting my story correct, his dad would say, learn two measures. You can go to bed. Two measures. I think by the time he was a teenager, he had memorized like all of the Bach cello suites. Just biting off two measures a day. People bite off big amounts that they can't digest and they don't get anywhere. You gotta bite off smaller chunks that you can actually get through and then you add more to those chunks. Like building a building or Legos or some shit, man. Small, meaningful progress. I did that shit drunk, son. What? Yeah, it wasn't the best. Okay, of course it wasn't the best. Yeah, we could complain about my tone and my evenness. Yeah, I know. And was there any passion in it? No, not really. It was very mathematical, very robotic. Uh, but you got to get the mechanics in first. You add the emotion in later. So if I was going to practice that tomorrow, now that I already hit the 132, Tomorrow would not be based on getting to 132. Tomorrow would be based on doing a better job with the notes themselves and actually creating more of a, like a movie with it. You know, the louds and the softs and the brights and the darks, um, and painting a picture with it. Which, if you don't know what I'm talking about with bright and dark, right? Bright. I'm gonna play one note. Bright. Dark. Right? And you can do that same tonal shift on all your strings. Plus, you can play with dynamics, which is the loud soft. And uh, you can play with the tempo. So that was very mechanical. It was a very mechanical approach to playing it. Just, I want the notes even, I want them on time, and this is the speed I'm going for. But that's not human. we got to put some humanity back into the playing. So if I was going to play this tomorrow, or if this was the beginning of the day, and I was going to play this same thing again later on, like I was going to take a break and come back and play, then the next time I wouldn't train for speed, because I don't really care. I, I might want to get it to 140, not to play it at 140, but just so my hands are more relaxed when I'm at 132. Have a little bit of overkill. Know that I can go faster, that way I'm not scared of the speed, uh, but then put the humanity 
a little bit of uh, emotion into the plane. It's a little difficult to put emotion into plane when the notes are all bucket, ducket, 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 but you still can find a way to do it. Challenge yourself, find a way to do it. That has been a fucking practice session. What? Did it live and drunk? What, what, what?